Hello, Genitori here. I'm putting together a small guide on how to recruit Halson in the video game Baldur's Gate 3. Small warning for potential spoilers here, including in Act 2. If you are not interested in location spoilers, then stop watching here. I'll do my best to avoid anything story related besides for when it cannot be avoided, but it will mostly be things pertaining to Halson's quest. Anyway, if you're still with me, You'll meet him in Act 1, and depending on your choices throughout the game, he may even like you, or not. <laughs> the most important step is the beginning. If you follow Minthara instead of helping out the Grove, then Halson's not going to be recruitable. Also, try to be nice to the bear in the jail cell. If you're cruel, then Halson will not be happy with you, and you may potentially end your chance to recruit him there. First things first, get to the goblin camp, and visit their jail. Help the bear out, and when he attacks, sigh with him. So I lost footage of this scene. I either did not record it, or I accidentally deleted it while cleaning up some of my footage, because video files take a lot of space sometimes. Anyway, uh, here's my reenactment of kinda what went down at that point. Roar, I'm a bear. Roar, I'm a bear. <laughs> Hey, look, it's a bear. I'm gonna throw some stuff at it. Hey, stop throwing stuff at that bear. Let him out of the cage. Yeah, let me out of the cage. I'm a bear. Not nice to throw things at me. Hey, look, they opened the cage. Hey, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna go uh, attack the bears now. I mean, I'm the bear. Hey, look, they opened the cage. Let's attack him, bro. You got it, man. And then we fought all the goblins, and uh, the bear turned out to be Alson. And uh, then he wanted me to take on all the goblin leadership. And uh, I'm sorry you had to w like listen to this and see it. Uh, hopefully you don't judge me too harshly for that. You'll have to do as requested and then take out the goblin leadership any way you want. If you bring Halston with you as a temporary companion, be prepared to fight through the entire compound. Once you've done as asked, he will suggest where to go next for the main story after the party in camp. I chose to go through the Underdark path as I assume most who played Early Access would opt to go to other areas instead. Once you are in Act 2 officially, make your way through the main story until you reach the Last Light Inn. You can find a comatose man here, and he is part of Halson's story. You'll need to return to your camp and tell Halson about him, and then Halson will join you at the Last Light Inn. I won't talk about the main story path here, but hopefully you've got things in a good state. Provided you did not accidentally lose everyone due to choices you've made, especially if you're a Dark Urge player trying to play nice, then you're still on track to recruiting Halson. Now, I did things a little out of order. I visited a location with a little ghost boy who wanted to play hide and seek with me, not realizing he was integral to Halson's story. So this step can be done much later if you want. The boy Oliver had fun, but kind of thinks I cheated a little bit. Uh, I think I technically did. You see, I have permanent C invisibility, due to Volo's operation, the same one from Early Access that originally gave a plus one to Charisma instead of C Invisibility. Anyway, I moved around, avoiding getting spotted while also finding Oliver for two separate rounds of Hide and Seek. Either way, keep this NPC in mind as they will be important later. You need to make your way to the House of Healing. Now, you may need to progress your story slightly to the point where you are able to travel to the darker areas on the map. You just need to talk to the Harpers near the entrance to the Last Light Inn area by the Merchant, and they will escort you to obtaining this ability. Once you've got the object in question, or power up if you choose to do things a certain way, you have to go to the House of Healing and deal with the man and his nurses inside, any way you wish. I defeated him using dialogue choices, but if you'd rather attack him on sight, I'm sure that's fine as well. 
What we need here is the loot with the initials AC on it, which as so happens is in the surgeon's inventory. AC matches the initials of the man who is comatose, if you've not noticed that. Once you've obtained the loot, make your way back to the last light inn and talk to Hallison. Progress through the dialogue and a comatose man should wake up. Hallison will then go to the pier just outside last light. Follow him and then initiate into a way defense. You have to keep the portal from closing for three turns. You can't cheat here by using the spell Sanctuary on the portal as it counts as an inanimate object. It has a lot of health and many of the enemies do not, so just go on the offensive, but be sure to leave a few of your characters near the portal itself so as to defend it. Once Hauser returns, he'll run away and hopefully survive the Shadow Blight. He took a bunch of damage from me as he ran away from all the light sources, but thankfully did not drop to zero. Return to camp and talk to him there. Now for me, as I already found Oliver, I immediately was able to tell Housen about my suspicions on a possible solution to our problem. I assumed that if you did things in the order the game expects you to, it will still eventually lead to Oliver. It is at this point, however, that I believe Housen can become a full party member. You can continue Housen's quest by talking to Oliver and following him through the portal as he runs away from you. I had some silly interactions after the fight that ensued, as Housen was still in the owlbear form. But for now, Housen's quest is on hold after you return to camp until you continue the main story. Hopefully, this information was useful and I did not spoil too much. Be sure to leave comments, especially if I forgot any steps or to clear anything up I may not have given enough information on. Let's all help each other on this one. Like and subscribe if you will, please. Let's me know what kind of videos everyone is most interested in seeing. Though I'm sure most of you who are already subscribed know I generally only have time for longer videos on the weekends. Thanks again to everyone who has shown their love in the comments and by subscribing. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Take care and have a good one.